Hello Year 3 and 4 and welcome to this week's spelling lesson. This week we are looking at the prefix super. As always you will need something to write with and something to write on and as always please feel free to pause the video at any time to give yourself more time to write. Let's get started. Let's start today's lesson with a mini test. Can you spell these tricky words from key stage one? Let's see how many we remember how to spell. Listen carefully and write down your answers. You can pause me if you need more time for writing. The first word is beautiful. There are some beautiful trees in the park. Beautiful. The second word is children. The children all went to school happily. Children. Number three, everybody. Please can everybody listen carefully to the lesson. Everybody. Number four, should. I should try to drink more water every day. Should. And finally, number five, with. Can you wrap this parcel with brown paper please, with. Okay, have a look on, uh, at the correct spellings now. You mark your own work. If any of those words um, were tricky for you, then please can you start practicing them along with our year three and four spelling uh, words for this term. Well done. So this week's um, prefix is super. What's a prefix? Quick reminder, we've looked at this many, many times. A prefix is added to the beginning of a word to make a new word. Most prefixes are added to the beginning of root words without any changes in spelling like this. Super added to the root word hero becomes superhero. We just join the two words together. We don't have to change anything. Inter, the prefix inter, which we learnt last week, added to the root word national becomes international. No change of spelling. And if we add the prefix miss to the root word behave, we get the new word misbehave, changing the meaning of behave to the opposite. So let's think about super. Can you think of any words that can be created by adding this prefix? Have a go for a moment, pause the video, write down any words you can think of that start with the prefix super. So what does the prefix super mean? Here are three words using that prefix. Supernatural, which means greater than normal natural powers. Superhero, a cartoon character that has extraordinary powers. Supernova, a star that suddenly increases greatly in brightness because of a catastrophic explosion. What does that prefix super do to the root word? Well, the prefix super means greater or above. Let's see how that works with these two words. Can you add our prefix super to each of these words, to the words foods and the word sonic? And let's see how it changes the meaning. So super would become superfoods and sonic would become supersonic. How does that change the meaning of the words? Well, superfoods are foods that we think are extra healthy for us. So not just ordinary foods, superfoods with greater nutrition. And supersonic, if something is supersonic, it travels faster than the speed of sound. So not just the normal speed, but extra fast, supersonic. Right, let's see if we can find the correct prefix for the bold word. She is a global star and loved by many. What would the word star become? It would become superstar. Well done. The sonic jet named the Concorde was designed and built in Bristol. What would the word sonic become if we add our prefix? Supersonic. A comic book hero often has human powers. What would the word human become? superhuman, oh and the word hero would become superhero, two super words in that sentence. 
What's the correct prefix this time? Well, we're adding super each time. So I was told to push the trolley around the market, not just the market, but the supermarket, a really big shop. These are the three words we're focusing on this week, supermarket, superman and superstar. So let's get started with our first word in detail. The first word is supermarket. The root word is market, a public place where people gather to buy and sell things, comes from the old English word merchant. And when we add our prefix super, it becomes supermarket. Can you define the word for me? Have a go at these things. Um, what's the word class? Put the word in a sentence, find the odd one out and trace that word on your hand using our cursive spelling handwriting. Do all of that and then join me on the next slide. Pause me now. The definition is a large shop selling a big range of groceries and household product products. Hopefully you came up with something similar. It's a noun because it's a place where we can go. My sentence was, I went to the supermarket to buy some eggs, milk and bread. And the odd word out there was library because delicatessen, mini market and greengrocer are all other shops where you can buy things. But the library, you can't buy anything from. You go and borrow your books from there. Right, let's think about spelling the word now. So first, let's think about the syllables. Clap along with me. How many syllables are there in this word? Supermarket. Supermarket. Four syllables in the word. Now, we can try and write the first chunk of that word, please. Which one is it? Choose the right one from the choice of four. That's right, S-U. Then how do we spell the second part of our super prefix? P-E-R. What comes next? Supermarket. What's the mar spelling? That's right, M-A-R and ket. How do we spell the end of the word? K-E-T, supermarket. So we have to think carefully about that end chunk, K-E-T, supermarket. It sounds a bit like an I, doesn't it, kit? But it isn't, it's K-E-T. Can you copy the correct spelling from this choice of four? Don't look at what you wrote for the last answer, use your brain. This was the correct one, S-U-P-E-R-M-A-R-K-E-T. Rub it off, scribble it out, turn, fold the paper over, however you can uh, get rid of that so you don't look at it for the next question, which is fill in the blanks. Have a look, some of the letters are there, fill in the missing ones. S-U-P-E-R-M-A-R-K-E-T, well done. Rub it out. Can you write the word backwards? T E K R A M R E P U S Tech Ram Rappers. And finally, without looking at anything you've written before, can you write the word supermarket from memory? S U P E R M A R K E T. If you spelt it correctly, give yourself a pat on the back. If you didn't spell it correctly, perhaps watch that bit of the vid video again and keep practicing. Our second word this week is Superman. Comes from the root word man and we add the prefix super to make him a greater than average man. Um, do all the things on this slide and then join me uh, at the next bit of the video. Pause me now. Definition, an American cartoon TV and film character having great strength, the ability to fly and other extraordinary powers. Um, he's a noun because he's a person. My sentence was Superman can fly faster than a speeding bullet. And the odd word out this time is listen. The reason it's the odd word out is we can't give listen the prefix super to make a new word. Super listen isn't a word. However, superhuman, supersonic and superfood are all words that we would find in the dictionary. Let's break the word into three chunks for spelling. Take a picture of those chunks with your brain. Su-per-man. How many syllables has our word got? Superman. Superman. Three syllables, three chunks in this word. Let's see if we can find how to spell it. First chunk, please. That's right, S-U. How do we write per? Superman. That's right, P-E-R. And finally, man. E nice and easy. You can use your phonics to spell man. M-A-N, Superman. Hopefully you got that right. Rub it out, turn it over, cross it off, however you can get rid of it. And now, 
find the correct spelling amongst this choice of four, copy it down. S-U-P-E-R-M-A-N, Superman, hopefully you picked the right one and you copied it correctly. Okay, let's fill in the blanks. S-U-P-E-R-M-A-N, Superman. Rub it out, cross it off, write it backwards. Looks like this, Namrepus. And finally, without looking at anything you've written already, can you write Superman from memory? S-U-P-E-R-M-A-N. Hopefully you got that right. Give yourself a pat on the back. Let's move on to word number three. Superstar. The root word is star. And I want you to do all the things on this slide. Pause the video. Join me at the next bit of the video. The definition for superstar could be an extremely famous and successful performer or sports player. The word class is noun because the superstar is a person. My sentence was, when she saw the superstar in the street, she asked him for his autograph. The odd word out in that list was nobody, because celebrity, personality and hero are all synonyms for superstar. However, if you are a nobody, you are not famous and you should have traced the word on your hand already. Let's learn to spell it. Same first two chunks as the other two words this week because we're using the same prefix super in each word. So hopefully those two chunks are now nice and easy. Let's do the syllable count please. Super star, super star. Three syllables in this word. Let's practice spelling them. The first chunk is su. How do we spell it? That's right, S-U. How do we write the middle part of the word, per? P-E-R was the correct choice. And how do we write the end part of the word, star? You can use your phonics to spell this, star. Correct, S-T-A-R was the correct choice, super star. Rub out what you had before and choose the correct spelling to copy from this choice of four. That was the right one, superstar, S-U-P-E-R-S-T-A-R. -E Rub it out, let's move on. Can you fill in the blanks now? From your memory, not from what you wrote before. That's what you should have filled in. And can you write the word backwards? Rat repus. Finally, without looking at anything you've written so far, can you write the word superstar from memory? S-U-P-E-R-S-T-A-R is the correct spelling. If you spelt that word correctly, give yourself a pat on the back. You can spell superstar. If you can't spell any of these words correctly yet, then watch the video again. Keep practicing. Your task now is to put each of this week's spelling words into a sentence. So three sentences, please, using our spelling words. And your extra challenge, look for any word that uses this week's spelling rule when you're reading and either copy out the sentence or take a picture of it. Tell me the name of the book or magazine in which you found it. Any word that uses the prefix super. OK, I look forward to seeing your work on Class Dojo and I will, give, I will join you in next week's spelling lesson. Thank you. Bye bye.